thank you for allowing me to speak. Um, I will address the issue of the accuracy of the minutes, uh, very eloquently put by Mr Jenkins then. Um, the Council Constitution says questions will not be answered if the question relates to allegations against or comments about the conduct of individual councillors or officers. I would note it says that questions will not be answered, not that they cannot be asked. I believe members of the public have the right, as per the Constitution, and I quote, to speak and or to ask a question in respect of any matter relating to the work of the Council. The speakers at the public session at the last meeting, the first speaker's comments clearly related to the work of the Council. Second and third speakers arguably did as well. A lot of third speaker in particular was given so little time to speak it is difficult to know for sure whether his comments would have related to Council business. I therefore believe that the minutes as expressed are incorrect. I also believe that it was fundamentally wrong for someone to edit the webcast and remove those speakers from it. When I've challenged minutes in the past, I've been told by you that the webcast could be used as a record of what happened at the meeting, and you can't have it both ways. Using the webcast as a record of a meeting, deleting those whose comments may be inconvenient or embarrassing to you. You may not like what some members of the public have to say, and you may think your business activities have no place being discussed here, but if you want to be an open and transparent council, you are going to have to accept that sometimes people will come here and say things that may be better said elsewhere. And I did originally share your view that your company's liquidation was a private matter, which is why I've made no public statements on it to date. However, after endless headlines, letters in the paper and national coverage of the subject, I've come to the conclusion that for the good of the council and for your own good, you need to respond to these allegations. It's council not matters, it is not council business, uh, and we now pass the 15 minutes. No, it is not. It's the now past the 15 minutes. The and, Chief Executive has written on the subject, it is therefore council business. It is not council business, council matters. Will you please sit I believe for the integrity of this council, you, you need to hold an open matters. and independent public inquiry on this matter. What a load of rubbish. Please sit down. You're Thank you. the right of the official opposition. Of being, being the what, left don't talk rubbish, Councillor Robinson. Right, the next item, uh, there, are no other, there are no other items for... Uh, public speaking, so um, next item is the notification of requests for visiting members. Me, Would any visiting an members like to speak. speak? Excuse me? I've got an application to speak. Uh, I've not put that on the list. It is on the list. Is it to do with council business, Mr Hinson? Yes, it is to do with council business. Well, if it, I put that on the list. If it deviates from that, I will stop you speaking. Well, okay? you can do what you like, but it doesn't deviate from that, all right? Okay. I've got a question for you. Uh, Chester Council, I just want to know, can you tell me who ASC Developments is, please? Not ASC Developments Chester Limited, ASC Developments. Can you tell me what company that is? We can't answer that here. Why can't you answer it? If you... uh, that is a matter for the, um, a number of uh, organisations this Council has paid over the last few years. Uh, you've asked a very, cl a very clear question. It's a technical question, and I'm sure if you give your details to me after the meeting, we'll arrange well, the a question, written response. Well, the question I haven't finished yet. You haven't answered the question, which nobody ever does answer the question. Nobody ever says yes or no. Councillors, MPs, whoever it is, they can never answer the question. Right, ASC Developments. Right, I've been paid since the 11th of November to, tw oh. to the 28th of February, 32,065 pounds. They were paid by cheque. Right. Now, the policy of the council is to pay by backs. ASC Limited have been paid £21,624. They were paid by backs. Now, ASC that have been paid by cheques is the same address as what ASC Limited is. Right? I want to know if that company is still trading. ASC Developments. Okay. You would know that. Is that it? No, I'm asking you a question. Would you know that? I, would know, I wouldn't know. So, you wouldn't know. You're nothing to do with ASC Developments. This is not council business. It is council no, business. Is You're paying them. You quoted, you quoted, uh, Mr. Jones, right? I will run this council as I run a business financially, right? In the last three years, you've traded a loss uh, to the sum of 162,000. Okay. I think, I think, Mr. Right, no, I'm asking the question. You've asked a very clear question 000. about ASC right. debate. I'm asking now, I'm putting forward that he... This leader here Would is you bringing Chester Council into disrepute, no. and you like should be dying. You, you can't run a business. Writing. You can't run anything. Can you like to put this in writing, please? Yeah, well, I don't have to put it in writing. Thank you. I'm telling you the truth. Mr. Henson, you've asked two... And if the webcam's still on, I'll probably have turned it off again like you did last time. 
right? But this is what people need to know. Anybody sitting here, would you have him running a council financially when he's been running at a loss for three years up to 160 odd thousand pounds? Mr. Henson, these are not questions, these are answers. No, these are questions. No, these are questions. No. I've asked you a question legit. Mr. Henson, ASC you developments. Down, you won't answer me. Why? Mr. Henson, will you please sit down? Why won't you answer? I'm giving you an assurance that I will write specifically. No, forget right. Everybody's here now. Everybody right. can hear you. You know, and Mr. Jones knows, who ASC Developments is because you're paying them. You've paid them. You've got a different ID number. Supplier, 80135, that's ASC Limited. ASC Developments, 127462. Mr Hinton, the answer can be supplied. I work for councils and you only have it's one a, number. Mr Hinton, it's a very specific question about... No, it's a very truthful perceive, question but you and it's not liable be, because it's the truth. You perceive to be two different companies and I will gladly give you a written answer to that. Well, I've, I've, just, heard, I've just heard what the leader question. said. I don't know about ASC Developments. And that's on record. No, it, I don't know about it. What's in the in the system? Because I don't deal. With no, the I ask you. Do you so know ASC developments? So would I'm you what's your answer? answer? You've asked. You've answered. You've asked what's your question. answer? You will get an answer. Mr. No. Hansen, please. Can leave. you give me an answer now? Can you please leave, Mr. Hanson? You can't, can you? We've got members of the public. You're hiding here. behind the council like you hide behind everybody else. I'm doing a Mr. Runner. Hinton. Well, I'm sorry, Mike. Oh. You, you, hey, you're playing with the wrong fellow here. You think I'm going to go away? That's fine. You, you run over everybody, leave. don't you? And all more money. You won't get away with this, mate. Don't you worry about it. I have the question to speak by visiting members. Any members?